G'day everybody, it's your boy Agent 47 here, and today we're jumping back into the Hitman 2 randomizer mod to visit Santa Fortuna, Colombia, one, one of, of the, the most, most hilariously, hilariously ridiculous, ridiculous episodes yet. yet. Well, it looks like I finally made it. Good old Santa Fortuna. A small village nestled deep in the Colombian rainforest that's actually used for the production and distribution of crack cocaine. Now, as it turns out, for whatever reason or another, all three of the cartel leaders actually happen to be here today at the very same time. One of them being the drug dealer version of young Johnny Depp, the other being a filthy old man who has absolutely no business having a braided ponytail at the age of 70, and the last one being the sexy but obsessive broad who won't stop sending me nudes while I'm at work, which is why I need to kill her. So according to my hitman senses, one of them is right on the other side of this wall. There's another one all the way over there who, if I'm not mistaken, is deep inside of a highly secured drug dealer cartel mansion place thingy. And the last one is all the way over there. And judging by the way he's moving right now, I think he's getting his annual prostate exam on the go. So just like every other mission, I've brought a couple of toys with me to help me get the job done. I got my cute little radio. I've got my ICA remote audio distraction MK2. I've got an apricot, but this time it's the legal variant. I've got my Hackle 9S covert. <laughs> Cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a cheeseburger as well. Now, Santa Fortune is a pretty big stage, so before I put on my Master of Disguises hat and start thinking of creative, hilariously ridiculous and random ways to brutally murder my targets, I can have a bit of a walk around and see what kind of stupid items I can find laying about the place. <laughs> like this guy, who I assume is meant to be having a coffee or a beer, but he's having a statue instead. Thanks, buddy. Quieres una menta? <laughs> <laughs> so I've got absolutely no idea what you just said, but I'm pretty sure it was something along the lines of Enjoy the statue, bro. So right now I'm prepared to bet my left and my right testicle that nobody has ever seen a small leather bag that looks like this. <laughs> Oh, God almighty. But hey, I'm not gonna lie, that's a really nice looking bag. Actually goes very, very well with my suit. You can call me Dr. 47 from now on. Oh, baby. And an ice axe. Yeah, right, I can totally see the necessity for an ice axe out here. Oh, God. One of the greatest dilemmas in life for a hitman. Do I go through the front door like a normal person? Or do I jump through the window like an absolute mad lad? Obviously through the window like an absolute mad lad. Oh, excuse me. Yes? Can you leave? What? Yes, I'm having a nervous breakdown, so please <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Oh my god, this here. lady's crazy, I gotta get out of here. Uh, lady, there's a strange noise coming from this bush, and I believe that you should inspect it immediately. You look like a detective with that hat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well he- oh! Oh, that's right, I forgot that they got a little bit of a piranha problem here. Uh, the strange sound is coming from over here now. Could you please check it out, detective? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, there goes another one. Well, I have absolutely no idea why I did that besides the fact that it was unbelievably satisfying. Wow, what a beautiful view, huh? Uh-oh, did you see that? Don't even think about it, buddy. In you get. G'day, mate. I'm here to buy your entire supply of expired spaghetti sauce. You are making me feel very uncomfortable. Can you just... Mmm, no. No, I don't believe that I can. What the... Well, this is my convenience store now, and uh, we're open for business. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's the Medico. I guess Dr. 47 should check in for his first day of work, and by check in, I mean pick the lock and... Oh, bugger. This guy's watching. Okay. Hey, you break it, you buy it. No, he did the face! Well, I mean, that wasn't exactly the face, right? <laughs> that was more the back of the head. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's actually a doctor's clinic. <laughs> it's kind of neat. And I guess through here is the pharmacy. Wait, what is that? Ooh. You could probably use some Panadol right about now, huh? Yo, what's going on, my hippie bros? Just been practicing the old didgeridoo, eh? Uh, hey, bro, I think your alarm is going off. You should probably wake up now. I don't know why hitting people with a didgeridoo is so funny. Hey, bro, like, I don't want to trip you out or anything, bro, but you're actually asleep, bro, and your alarm is going off, bro, and you need to wake up, bro. <laughs> oh, God. Hello, my good lady. I'll take one of your best Eiffel Tower knives, please. Oh, God, I love how I'm able to walk around here with a ginormous knife in my hand and nobody bats an eyelid. Well, I guess now's as good a time as any to test out this Eiffel Tower knife. Oh, I could, <laughs> I could push her out the window. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <bloody hell. laughs> 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh goody, I found one of the cartel's murder kill death rooms. <laughs> Delightful. And would you look at that? There's a cocaine machine blueprint here as well. <laughs> at least I'm not going home empty handed. And my favorite Pingu picture book. Oh my goodness, it sounds like these guys are having a party and a half. So I'm going to need to find another way to get inside. Thanks, mate. <laughs> yes, a Sapienza necklace. Exactly what I expected to find dangling from a dartboard. Oh my goodness, it's, it's, it's the dude I was looking for. I think he might be dead. <laughs> oh, God. You know, I feel like there's a really big difference between putting the clothes on of a dude you've just killed and putting the clothes on of a dead guy that's been rotting in a bed for the past week. <laughs> but that ain't gonna stop me. Hey, boys, I'm here to play the, um... String... Wood... Dick... Face. I hate the people. You can't possibly hate me. If I wanted you this close, you'd know. Okay. Don't mind me. Oh. Whoa, slow down. <laughs> I can't, I gotta go fast, lady. So there is absolutely no reason in the world why I'm doing this besides the fact that I really, really want to. <laughs> Somebody should come in here to check out that noise. Not two people, you dumb... Oh, fuck me. Oh, now, now there's three. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? Not right now, please. Whoa. Yes, right oh. now. <laughs> that is pee power. <laughs> pee power. <laughs> You should pick that up. Maybe stand a little bit closer. Oh, someone pooed on the toilet bowl. Oh, that's so gross. What the frick, bro? <laughs> oh my god. I pressed the wrong button and it drowned him anyway. Oh, wow. Even more satisfying than the last one. <laughs> Hold on a second. It seems like P-Power actually has an invitation to go straight through the front door of the Delgado mansion. And here I am wiping out the entire cartel in the underground tunnels like an absolute dickhead. Oh, that's not a good idea. Hold on a second. So I gotta drop this, and I gotta drop this, and I gotta drop this, and I gotta drop this, <laughs> and I gotta drop this, and I gotta drop this. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my Lord. Who in the bloody hell is this? Be power. It's such an honor to meet you. I just love your show. Yes, I love your show too. Oh, wow. You're leading me straight into the drug lord cartel leader guy's private office room. So, this is the famous P Power. Yeah, hold on. I just, I'll, I'll be back. I'll be back. Just gotta go to the toilet for a while. Something strange over by the toilet, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I got a message for you, but it's not the message like you're expecting. The message is to just drink lots of water because you, you are mostly made up of water. Have a trip out a second story window. Have a remote EMP charge. What the frack? <laughs> you can say that again. Have a tattoo that ends your miserable existence. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I did not see <laughs> I did not see that coming. All right, so now that that's taken care of, it's time to haul us out of here and move on to the next target, which, according to my hitman sense, is right over there. So there's a lot of junk lying around here, and there's even more junk inside of my inventory right now. This right here is all of the junk that I'm currently carrying inside of my pants pockets. This guy over here is proving to be a little bit of a problem, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, that's beautiful. So I feel like the best way to kill this dude is probably by dousing him in gasoline and then setting him on fire. <laughs> yeah, baby. You know, I think I'm gonna need to take down these guards. <laughs> there goes one. <laughs> there goes another one. <laughs> then I'll place my breach charge in the puddle of gasoline. Hey, presto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that, <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant! Well, now that those two are taken care of, it's time to deal with the last target. And I feel like for this one, I could probably use a new disguise. <laughs> Though I gotta say, I'm pretty happy to see that although the owner of this mansion was murdered with a tattoo gun to the side of the head, everyone still seems to be having a pretty good time. Wow, bro, that's that's a really nice crowbar. I mean, god, I, I wouldn't say I'm an expert in crowbars, but I know a good crowbar when I see one, and that's... <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Great to see somebody doing their job. <laughs> anyway, apparently down here in the basement, there's a love letter that I can use to get to my final target. So this is the guy that stole the love letter, huh? Well, on the plus side, I don't need to worry about him going anywhere anytime soon. Oh, he likes a little bit of a feed, does he? Hold on a second, what's this? <laughs> this is a safe combination. <laughs> I mean, that's where I always leave my safe combinations. There we go, a whole can of expired spaghetti sauce. I hear you like spaghetti sauce. 
Don't mind the puddle of blood in <laughs> the burning pan. Everything's fine. Got a little bit of a kick to it, huh? The secret ingredient is expired spaghetti sauce. Oh, he doesn't die. Well, he will now. <laughs> Give me that letter. Oh, I can just place the letter here? Yes. Now, I guess I get out and I wait for her to read it. Oh, I think she's reading it. I guess she needs a little bit of time to clear her head, huh? I have no idea, you said. <laughs> That'll certainly clear your head. I had no idea you still felt this way. Maybe... But has he really changed? One thing to say all these things, these wonderful things. Another is to have actually changed. We did have some good times, Hector, it's true. But you're just too dangerous. <laughs> yeah, everyone says the same thing to me. <laughs> Oh my god. And now like the absolute maniac I am, I'm going to run all the way back to Hector Delgado's drug cartel mansion castle, thingamabob, steal his sports car and drive off into the sunset. Oh, hold on, wait, what? I could have done this. Gosh. Oh. Well, I can't leave without doing this. Now to just ever so slightly loosen the foundations on this bad boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, shite. One of these things is not like the other one. One of these things is not like the other one. One of these things is not like the other one. And that other thing is me. <laughs> God almighty. Bye-bye, Santa Fortuna. It's been real. <laughs> real freaking sweaty.